Welcome to Evergreen AI, the premier course on how to use AI for business development and marketing. In today's presentation, I'm going to show you how to use Google Bard, OpenAI's ChatGPT, and also Anthropic's Cloud. These are powerful chatbots that allow you to be able to have a conversation with artificial intelligence. So let's get right into it. So on the left over here, you'll see Google Bard. Google Bard is a pretty intelligent artificial intelligence that allows you to be able to do things like spy on competitors or be able to understand what's going on with the current news. It knows how to read the internet and it's very, very current. If you ask it, what is the difference between ChatGPT and cloud? This one over here is cloud. It'll break down the differences, OpenAI, Anthropic, GPT-3, Lambda, the strengths and the weaknesses and so on, it breaks it down. Now, one of the features that Google Bard has right now, and it's still in experimental mode, is that it allows you to be able to read what it writes. It allows you to be able to input images. This is relatively new. So I took this, a screenshot of this that um, Cloud made for me, and I put it into Bard and I asked Bard, give me your insights on this image. And when I hit play, listen to this. It's gonna the image you sent me is a draft blog post comparing Google Bard, Charles, and Claude. The post does a good job of highlighting the strengths and weaknesses of each AI, and the tone is both professional and witty. Here are some of my insights on the image. The author does a good job of explaining the different approaches that each AI takes to language modeling. Google Bard is focused on providing accurate and factual responses, while Charles is more creative and conversational. It's calling ChatGPT Charles. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. Um, so it's not perfect, as you can see. It's reading an image, and it's using Google Lens to read the image. Google Bard added a new feature on the left side here where you can see your previous conversations and keep those conversations going. That previously was not a feature that they had. And also you can speak to Google Bard right over here. One of the things that I like about Google Bard is that you can click on these three dots and you can copy everything. Or if you're doing it from your mobile phone, you can easily save things to spreadsheets or to documents and so on. Very powerful. All right, moving on to Chat GPT. Chat GPT has two different models. It has, when you open up a new chat, the ability to do 3.5, which is the fastest model. And it also has GPT-4, which is their most capable model. And if you're paying for it, you can also use their plugins, which is really powerful. It allows you to tap into many different websites. Really, really powerful. Um, so you can tell, ask it anything. Right here, it, it, I asked it the same question. Create a blog post comparing Google Bard, ChatGPT, and Cloud. And make it give me the pros and cons and make it professional and witty. And it kind of made things up, a lot of the stuff, because it doesn't even know what cloud is. <laughs> and it doesn't even know Google Bard. So it kind of made things up and it had fun making it up. So it made this whole fictitious um, table with all this information. So one of the things about ChatGPT is that the information often is a bunch of lies. So you got to really validate the information and make sure that you're working all valid information. The best way to, val to validate the information is to actually give it the information and then ask it where it got its research and so on. And Anthropic created Cloud, which is relatively new as well. And I'm chatting with Cloud and Cloud is really smart, really, really smart. And one of the benefits of Cloud is that it's trained to be helpful, harmless, and honest. Whereas ChatGPT is a total liar. <laughs> it just makes things up. Um, ChatGPT, although can be much more creative because you can do a lot more than Google Bard and Cloud in terms of creativity. But if you want something that's a little more honest, use Cloud. If you want something that's a little more advanced, use Google Bard. Cloud also has information that's more current versus ChatGPT, the information ended in 2021. Google Bard's information is also like I tell it to browse CNN or to give me stock tips of the stocks that happened today. And it knows how to do that. It's really, really cool. So those are the three separate ones that I highly recommend you kind of check out. One of the things I like about Anthropics Cloud is that you can also add um, files so we can accept PDFs, text files, CSV files, which you can't do that with uh, Google Bard or 
uh, chat GPT yet. Eventually you're going to be able to do it. And right now with chat GPT's plugins, you can do a lot of this stuff anyway. So um, there is another chat bot that you should definitely check out called perplexity. It's perplexity.ai. Highly recommend checking that out. And if you want to see tutorials for each one of these, we actually have a course we created called evergreen AI. So if you go to evergreen.com slash AI, or you go to new AI course.com, we teach you how to speak to all these different chat bots using something called prompt engineering. We teach you how to brainstorm, how to research, how to create strategies, how to summarize, how to create content, how to create social media content calendars, how to create email sequences, email templates, email newsletters, and how to use it creatively. And we have over 20 different tutorials on lots of tools that teach you transcription, image generation, content, video editing, avatars, AI avatars, voice cloning, and all that stuff. So I highly recommend checking out our course, Evergreen AI. And if you want to test out our LinkedIn assistant, we actually created a chat bot specifically for LinkedIn that is a Chrome extension, and you can install it right now. You can go to evyai.com, and you can install the Chrome extension, and it'll help you generate comments, write posts, recommendations, messages, and so on. So hopefully you found this useful. If you did, let me know that you watched this. My name is Joe Applebaum, CEO of Ajax Union, and I love exploring artificial intelligence. I am learning it every single day, and I'm always on the top of the trends of what's going on. I'm reading all the newsletters, seeing what the experts are saying, watching YouTube videos. So I'm doing the research and handing it off to you so that you don't have to do all that research and you can just learn from my experience. So let me know what you think of this. Really appreciate you watching this and we'll talk again soon. Boom.